Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 15007 which is part of the uh, Creators update and this is a minor release but it does include a few improvements and features. So now let's dive into the new in, into the new changes. So now Cortana has a new feature that will be useful for those uh, users uh, who have uh, multiple computers so now with Cortana you will be able to pick up your where you left off from uh, a different computer so let's say that you um, that you start uh, a word document on one computer and your office computer and or you go to Microsoft Edge and you're looking into a recipe so now you can move to another computer you can you know just turn that off and then just go to another computer that you have like for example like like a tablet and on action center cortana now will be able to um display links so you can quickly resume uh, where you left off on a, from another computer so which is as a really nice um uh, feature to have if you have multiple uh, devices so it makes it makes the experience uh much 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 better uh, so that's what's going on on, Cor on the Cortana side unfortunately I did try with uh, two different computers and see uh, running the uh, the latest uh, preview bill but I wasn't able to get that to work Microsoft sa said that it's working but it, it, it isn't working for uh, for me at least um, on Action Center there is not new changes but now if um, in certain apps they're using the um, uh, the creators update SDK. Uh, now you will be you will start uh, seeing um, an inline progress bar. So basically, what that means is that you will be able to see a progress bar when you're downloading an app, or you know, or or you're using a, a fitness tracking uh, app, and that app supports. Uh, the uh, toast notification the ones that pop up in the bottom you will see uh, a progress bar uh, if uh, if there is something to uh, regis uh, register as a progress so now we're going to we're going to start to see those more on the creators update okay so now let's move on into into settings and this time there is not a lot of changes on the settings because we have seen a lot a lot of improvements but uh, they're happening on the bill um, 15.002 so on bill 15.007 the only thing we're going to see new there are two things first we're going to see a new category uh, page which is called holographic and inside of that page it is still in the construction we only have one uh, section which is called audio and speech uh, which is you know basically it would allow you to if your computer uh, supports uh, hardware for virtual reality you will be able to come here and just change the setting for uh, for audio so you can choose the, the speaker and the Microsoft and, and the microphone that uh, uh, your computer uses when you're in, in VR mode and you can change uh, you can enable this speech setting right here this is you know the uh, this option right here this is use speech recognition for uh, windows holographic and it seems that we're going to be seeing more uh, pages or section coming to holographic but that might happen on later builds not right now and second it's on per, uh, personalization and when we go to theme themes now we get a new icon if we used to have a link to uh, get the new themes now we get an icon to go to to the um, to the Windows Store but that actually doesn't work right now so we actually gonna have to wait until uh, um, a later release to be able to go get new themes uh, from the Windows Store so now let's move on into Microsoft Edge because there are a few improvements on the web browser now when you're downloading uh, an application you can choose to run instead of saving it and also you can click uh, this new button and you will be able to access to the uh, save as button if you want to save uh, the uh, file into a different location 
also on Microsoft uh, on the Microsoft Edge uh, version for build uh, 15.007. Now, when we go to uh, the tabs that you set aside, now you can actually share your tabs uh, with other people. You can tweet it out or you know send them to an email. Uh, and you can do that by clicking the more button on the um, tab group that uh, the tabs are the one that you want to share and then you just click the uh, share tabs and that will bring the uh, windows the new windows share experience and then you can pick the uh, you know the uh, the app that you want to use to share that one tab or a group of tabs so for example if i click twitter it will just open up Twitter and I can just send this uh, link uh, to anyone on my list of the people that are following me. Uh, which is, you know, it's just a it's small but nice addition to, uh, to have. Also on Microsoft Edge, now the uh, Microsoft is updating the uh, web notes uh, interface. So we know that you can click the uh, uh, web notes so you can annotate on the page, but now the interface has been updated so it looks more like the um, uh, Windows Ink um, interface. Before you, we used to have all these uh, tools on the right, and now they're shift to the, uh, I mean, to the left, and now they're shift to the right. And now they look uh, they look very similar to the Windows Ink experience. Let's say if we open, let's say the uh, um, uh, a screen sketch, you will see now that all the uh, all the tools are uh, located on the right, and the same is going to happen uh, for the uh, Microsoft Edge web notes. So now you know all the designs, the you know all the annotations and we, uh, Windows Ink related tools that now all look the same throughout the operating system which is a more consist, uh, consistent experience uh, and of course you can you know change your color and the icon will tell you uh, we actually uh, change color too so you, you can tell you the actual color that you're using so you can you and you can do uh, your annotations okay so also let me see um, I can okay basically on this build you can actually go to settings and with one click import your setting from another uh, web browser but uh, on this build I can show right now that I if I click settings I'm not it's not working uh, the settings for Microsoft Edge are not working so I can't show you that and I'm going we're gonna have to wait until um, another bill I had tried uh, Microsoft Edge on different computers and I can get to settings so I can show you that part okay so let's move on into the into Windows Defender because uh, there are also some other changes going uh, going on in that uh, new application so let me just start with the uh, Windows Defender and let me just start saying that uh, Windows Defender has been renamed to Windows Defender uh, security uh, security center uh, which it makes more sense than just Windows Defender because Windows Defender was only to refer to the um, uh, to the antivirus for uh, for Windows but now because uh, uh, the, uh, the Windows Defender it is becoming like a hub or uh, for security on your computer the uh, Windows Defender security center makes more sense so now on the creators update, uh, when you open Windows Defender, you're going to uh, see these, uh, the, the new name. We had seen a few changes happening on, on this new dashboard on Windows 10 build 15.002. But on this uh, 15.007, there are also a few new improvements. Uh, for example, the icons will be black and now they're blue. If we go to the um, uh, firewall and network protection, now when you click the um, uh, the related links, now they actually open. As you can see, the uh, uh, the related links on on control panel, so you can access those settings. And another thing that's going on is that now we actually have a settings page for 
Windows Defender. And the settings page for the uh, Windows Defender Security Center, uh, there is not a lot going on right now, but at least you can uh, enable or disable uh, the notifications for the uh, uh, Windows Defender Antivirus Summary. So sometimes, like if you already install the uh, Windows 10 Anniversary Update, you will notice that um, there is uh, a lot of times that you will get a Windows Defender um, uh, toast notification right here uh, on the corner saying that uh, the scan didn't find anything. So if you don't like those summary, you can come to the settings and turn and turn and turn that off. Um, for example, in the future, I guess we're going to be seeing more settings. Uh, so you can see, for example, right here that we get the uh, Windows firewall notifications. Uh, but, you know, this um, dashboard is under construction. So there is no a lot of things that we can change right now. And on family options, uh, nothing has really changed other than now we have uh, a new background image right here that you see that matches uh, the images that Microsoft is using on Microsoft on the Microsoft account um, uh, 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 sections on on the web, uh, but nothing else has really changed. We don't see any new information here. So now let's move on. On Windows 10 build 15007, Microsoft is also improving the uh, Windows Hello enrollment. Um, I don't have Windows Hello on this computer, but basically what's going to happen now, uh, the, um, uh, the process has been, uh, <coughs> has been streamlined, and now there is, there is an uh, easier to follow uh, indicator and a real time uh, face tracking, so you can uh, get a Windows Hello uh, with your face uh, more, more quickly. And also on this bill, let me see if I can show you this. Now we get uh, Microsoft updated the um, the logic on the um, on the scroll bar. So now is I don't know if you can see. Let's see if that. Uh, wait a second, right there. And now when I move the mouse, I get near. You will see that it's a new effect. So basically, what Microsoft is trying to do is trying to make the um, the scroll bar appear only when you need it and, and so it fades away when you, when you don't so it doesn't take much space so that's new I don't really like it if I'm being honest I think that has to change that the scroll bar looks really old and and it doesn't have like any uh, good design so I hope that Microsoft changed that but it's just my opinion also on this bill uh, you can enable and disable uh, game mode uh, using the um, uh, the, ga the game bar uh, settings. So game mode, it's a new mode that uh, Microsoft is introducing into the Windows 10 Creators Update that would allow Windows 10 to to control to better control the uh, CPU and uh, the CPU and GPU on your computer. So it it allocates more resources to the game you're playing instead of just uh, balancing those uh, resources with other apps on your computer. So when you're using your computer, the full attention of Windows is gonna be the game, so the game uh, works uh, uh, flawlessly and so you can get the best, uh, the best experience on your computer it, in the same way that it should, uh, that, that it works on, on, on a game console, for example, the uh, Xbox One. If you want to see these new options, the only thing you have to do is uh, use the uh, shortcut to open the game bar, which is uh, Windows Windows Plus G. There you go. So now, for some reason, it wasn't working, and now you can see right here. I open the uh, um, the game bar, and now we can see that we have a game mode right here, and you can enable that if you want to. And also, we're going to see here that we have a new icon on the uh, on the game bar, which is for uh, for broadcast. As Microsoft, it's adding the uh, Beam, it's integrating Beam into Windows 10, so you can uh, broadcast game played on the internet. 
So that's pretty much all that's new on the uh, Windows 10 build 15007 for the uh, Kratos update. Uh, remember to like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.